Hi, this is Tim with Morial TV and Morial Radio here with James Jacob Prash. Uh, Jacob, one of the believers had the question based on 2 Corinthians 5 5 In what way is the Holy Spirit a deposit of what is to come? We've explained this many times in various teachings. The term is usually translated as pledge or earnest, print off a receipt. And a week before Christmas or Hanukkah, you go to a distribution center or warehouse <clears throat> in a shopping mall or something to pick up the parcel. And it has your name on it and a number. But there's a parcel on the shelf somewhere in the distribution center with a matching name and number. That matching name and number, the ticket on the, on the parcel you're picking up, is the Arabinon. Well, that's the way the Holy Spirit operates as a person. He's the Arabinon. When Jesus comes back to pick up his parcel, who has the Holy Spirit? He's mine. She's mine. You're mine. You're mine. You're mine. That one is mine. We're out of here. That is how the Holy Spirit works as the Arabinon. Now, as I've warned before, be very careful of the false teaching of the money preacher as Joyce Meyer, among her many other problems. She once told her followers, devotees on TV, and I've watched this on a video clip of her TV show when I was in Australia, someone showed it to me, a pastor. She said, when you give a contribution to the Lord, by implication, her ministry, God gives you a receipt, and it says in the original languages, you get a receipt, so when you want something, you take your receipt and you go to the Lord. Here's my receipt. Here's what I want. Cough it up. The earth is the Lord and all it contains. God doesn't owe us anything. We owe him everything. This notion that if you give money to her ministry or to any ministry or to anything, that you get a receipt, and that's the receipt, is, is, is an absolute baseless lie. Telestai, meaning paid in full, what was stamped on a bill. So the price for our sins was paid in full. We don't have to atone in purgatory for our own as the false church of Rome teaches, uh, teaches falsely. The blood of Christ cleanses from all sin. Tell us by paid in full. The other term again being an Abaddon, that is the Holy Spirit. There is a Greek term uh, for receipt, Kabbalah, we get the word Kabbalah, mystical Judaism, and that certainly does not apply. Don't believe deceivers and money preachers like Joyce Meyer. She's a false teacher, and she's obviously out for the buck for her facelift and earring fund, or whatever it is. Keep away from people like that. That's not what the term means. It means, as we've explained, it's the seal, the proof that we've been purchased by Jesus, and when he comes back, he's going to take that which is his, in other words, whom he has redeemed. He will redeem, pick it up. Uh, he saved us, that is, he justified us. He is in the process of saving us. He is sanctifying us by his spirit. When he comes back, he shall redeem us. Pick up the parcel that he paid for. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Pash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth 
in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morial catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.